All right, so how about more apartments? We have more than enough food. We should still have enough water production. 1.44 more can be extracted if needed. So more apartments, we should have enough power for that. Which category was that? <laughs> Hold on. Oh yeah, right here. Funding received. And we got 400 in funding. How much do we have now? 1.6. Okay, that's not too bad. We can grab some passengers right away. So, let's have a look. Medic. Let's see what we're actually missing right now. I don't think we're missing anything. In fact, it might be a good idea to build a research lab in this dome. Because I'm pretty sure we have some unemployed scientists. Or well, not unemployed, but not working in their field. We could use one more geologist, perhaps. Yeah, a research lab definitely wouldn't hurt. It's not even that big. Trade survivor, trade composed, trade nerd. Oh, so we can choose them here. Okay. Increases performance boost when I eat high morale. Low sanity never leads to suicide. Oh, so suicide is actually a thing in here. Good to know. Loses less health without food, water, oxygen. Or when living in an unpowered dome. Okay, enthusiast. Compose this fine. Survivor sounds like it might be useful at some point. <laughs> I'm just saying. Not that I'm predicting anything, but you know. Higher individual base morale, low sanity. Okay, let's get religious then. There, that will do. Now, let's resupply. We are going to need more machine parts. Some electronics won't hurt. And then what? We could get RC rover since we don't have one at all. And we can afford it at this point. What about prefab buildings? So this might be a good moment to get either a machine parts factory or electronics factory. Machine parts factory requires metals, and metals are a bit of a problem, but we could certainly get an electronics factory. So that's what we'll do. And we'll just buy machine parts. Okay, we still got a lot of cargo capacity. But yeah, funding. I suppose some of it will be unused. We just don't have enough money to fill the entire rocket. You know.
13,000 left. We could skip the rover. The rover is pretty expensive, but it's also quite useful. Alright, let's go with this. 8 million left. Okay, fine. I mean, we'll get more money from rare earth metals, so... It's all good. Especially with a very high grade deposit. In fact, let's work more than one shift. Might as well do that. That means we'll get more money faster. Not to mention we do have enough people. Do we have any unemployed people right now? Let's see, where can we see that? Unemployed and looking for work, zero. Alright. Well, we'll get more soon enough. This dome already has higher population than the first one, 29. Any plans for empty space in the smaller dome? Yeah, I suppose we should build something in here. Gaming, luxury... We don't need anything specific at the moment. Idle extractors. Oh, depleted deposit already. Right, where's the next closest concrete deposit anyway? Like, over here. Well, alright, salvage. We still got some in this one. Research complete. How much is there left in here? Meteor 725. Incoming. Wait, what's going on? What the heck is that? What? Oh, right, the drone hub requires maintenance. <laughs> well, you guys better repair that quickly. <laughs> I got scared there for a moment. That looks pretty scary. Come on, repair that faster. That spooked me out a little. Here, it's fine. We are not dead. <laughs> Witch squares. These are just rock. There's like 3% usable area. There's not much point scanning them, but I suppose we can. It's just literally a cliff. So, 700 left. We have a crap ton of concrete right now. But alright, let's rebuild it. Can we even do that? Yes, sort of. I guess that will do. Here, good enough. And the cable. Thirty. Population. Oh, and there's the research lab. So, more research. And more apartments. Sector scanned. And our rocket has arrived. And the research is also done. That was sustainable architecture. Which means building will require less maintenance. Where was it? 
Yeah, this one. And next up, we are researching... Well, hold on. Do we really need micro-manufacturing anymore? We could get something cheaper instead. Farms increase the comfort of all residences in the dome. Oh, that one is nice. What settings did I use? I used India as a sponsor, archaeologist as the commander profile or whatever. And I started in an area with rough terrain or steep terrain. Which means I have limited access to the map without tunnels, which are like super expensive. Arcology. Provides comfortable living space for many colonists. Okay, that's pretty expensive though. I like biome engineering. More applicants. Engineers and geologists have plus 10 performance. This one would actually be useful. No active research. Okay, let's get that one then, because that will give us more rare metals. It doesn't say how many colonists in here. But this one would also be good seeing how we need 200 before day 100. We can queue it up after. Alright, we'll queue it up after then. And yeah, no breakthroughs still. There's the rocket. So that brings the rover here. And we could send it east. Well, what would be the best use for the rover? We can build a solar panel around the rover, right? I don't see why not. Cable fault reported. This will be a good moment to maybe build a tunnel. We got 46 machine parts. Alright, let's build a tunnel then. Now, how far does the drone hub go? Okay, like this. So this is going to be the tunnel. And how far can it go? Well, somewhere up here, I guess. It says it's too far from working drone commander, but that's kind of the whole point of building a tunnel up here, so that we can get up here to the high ground. Alright, let's just place it and see what happens. But that's going to be a lot of machine parts. We'll probably need another shipment from Earth pretty soon. I'm going to launch as soon as we're done refueling. Cable Although, since we have no money left, it might be best to wait for 30 rare metals at this point. Cable needs maintenance.
How are you not connected right now? It should be connected. That's weird. Do we have to do it from this side? Alright, I guess we have to connect from the back, fair enough. So how about we remove this cable? Can we even remove it? No? Can you not remove an existing cable because I can't click on it? I guess this will do. How's our resource situation? 55 metals, 20 machine parts left. Power looks fine. Cable 31 people. Reported. You know what we should get? We should get more drones. Because I feel like we don't really have enough drones at this point. Yeah, we'll get more with the next rocket. I think. Still waiting for the tunnel. And as soon as we finish it, we'll send the rover. Or the explorer, I mean. There are a lot of anomalies up there. Here, I think it's done. Might as well connect the pipes, I suppose. Not that we need that right now. But just to be done with it. That's going to be a pretty long pipe. Okay then. And here we are, so now we can check out all these anomalies. I can't actually build a university because I don't have the relevant technology. At least last I checked, it requires one. Yep, we need Martian education and I don't have that. How's our research going anyway? We are doing pretty well. Productivity training will be done soon. There, new techs are available for research. Drone hub, Martian born adaptability. Okay. There's the drone hub and... Where's the other one? This one. Martian born adaptability. What does that do? Colonies graduate faster in universities and sanatoriums and have higher chance to gain perks from schools. Alright. So, more anomalies. Let's get some actual research in here and I guess we might as well send the rover up here we could use it to get started on some infrastructure up there right so let's go and we can just build the power cable here that will work right that will have it connected to our grid I think someone mentioned that earlier. That this literally connects your power grid 
and everything else, the pipes and so on. So here it is. Where's that rover? Right here. The main thing Research I want from complete. up here are the metals, because we'll run out of metals pretty soon and the closest deposits, like ground deposits, are very far away. So it would be nice to actually work this. So we gained some research, and we already got quite a lot of progress in archaeology. I wonder how many people will be able to live here, because it doesn't say on the tooltip, but this is a pretty advanced building. Let's queue something up. So what do we want? More applicants on Earth. Increases research provided by sponsor by 100. Sure, we can queue that up. Okay, that will do for now. And now we can get the battery back. Here, yep, that works. Sector scanned. So one thing we could build up here is the scanning tower or whatever it's called. Yeah, the sensor tower. Should definitely get one on the high ground now. Especially since we have the tech that makes it not require any maintenance. So just build it like in here. Doesn't really matter where exactly it's going to be. Good enough. Maybe move that rover slightly. And it would be a good idea to move some basic resources here. Otherwise, the drones will have to go pretty far. Well, not that far, I suppose. But still, we should have some basic resources up there in its own depot. And some wind turbines, yeah, up here. So, anomalies. Let's go get more anomalies. There are quite a few in the area. First, the research. Yeah, I think I'll have to move some resources manually before this is going to work. Fine. So Universal Depot, or we can just bring them in our transport. So wait, first a little bit of concrete, then some metals, let's say 20. more concrete. That's not quite what I had in mind. Come on. Load 5. What? Why is it not working? What the heck? Oh, it's at capacity now. Right. Let's get some electronics then. We need like one. Where are electronics? Right here. So we need exactly one, but I guess we'll get three. There. Now we can go through. So now we can build it, I assume. It will take resources from the transport, right? Or do I have to drop them at the depot? Oh, breakthrough, finally. First breakthrough of this game. What exactly is that? Nano refinement. All extractors continue to extract small amounts with their deposit depleted. Oh, that's nice. Defined small amount, though. But that sounds really good. Yeah, I suppose we can drop them on the ground. But Universal Depot doesn't really cost anything, so we might also place one. 
and drop them here. Unload. Unload all. Here. Sector scanned. Okay, everything is unloaded. We actually have some metals literally right here. We can gather those. How's the scanning going? Still scanning. So we can scan areas that are already scanned for deep deposits. But right now we don't have the tech to take advantage of deep deposits. But it will be a huge boost, I suppose we can give it a shot. Back to anomalies. And now we can build the tower. Where was that? Right here. Oh, we got oxygen and water shortage. Wait, what? How do we have a water shortage? Oh, is the building in need of maintenance? It's not powered. Hold on. That should be high priority for power. Right, let's change some priorities then. Water is definitely high priority. There, that's better. What we could do is demolish these wind turbines and build them on high ground. That's definitely a good idea. But one step at a time. And we do have a rocket waiting. No, we don't. That's the one on the ground. It's fully loaded with exports, so ready for takeoff. Let's go. Right now I don't have any money left. As you can see we have 8 million, that's literally it. We'll get 3 billion from this rocket, so... Then we can get something nice. Or 300 million? Well, we'll get some funding from that one. Anyway, back to anomalies. And unload. Is he unloading? Why is he not unloading? That makes no sense. Sector scanned. That makes no sense. Why is it idle? It's not full. There's plenty of space here visually. Oh, you can't have more than 30 metals on one. Okay, fair enough. So we just need a dedicated metal depot. Fine. Here, we'll have a dedicated one. There we go, that's better. Breakthrough discovered. Forever young. That sounds useful. Which one is that? Oh, that's another breakthrough. Seniors can work and have children. All right. Well, that sounds useful. Interesting tech. So, back to anomalies. Let's grab some research and then we'll go back to reload our battery. It took me a long time to get breakthroughs though. In my YouTube game I got one like super early on. So this will give us some research. Anyway, about that tower. Let's get one already. Sensor tower.
People can die, yeah. I got plenty of research queued up, don't worry. The one we're researching right now requires like 7,000 alone. Anomaly analyzed. So 1,000. Two buildings are not working. Okay, yeah, we got some power shortages. Right, let's start moving the wind turbines. So first we'll build a few on the high ground. We got 16 machine parts. We're actually a little bit low on machine parts. Speaking of which... Production. Right, that's electronics. How expensive was machine parts prefab? Four hundred. Okay, so we won't have enough. Not even close. We'll just order machine parts themselves. That's fine. Still, regardless, we don't need wind turbines on the high ground. No doubt about that. Shame that we can't build sterling generators yet. The tech for them isn't even available. For research. Cable fault reported. Pipe leak reported. Let's go back to reload. Funding received. And there's our funding. 720 million. Nice. Okay. So that gives us 728. This is actually enough for machine parts factory, but it will be more than half of our current available funding. Still, it's probably worth it. It's almost certainly worth it. Other than that, we won't have a whole lot of money left. Some drones. Well, I suppose this would be fine. Ten drones and a prefab for machine parts factory. We already have electronics factory prefab. There it is. Do we have any unemployed people? Probably not. We got one unemployed person right now. We got 16 machine parts right now. Yeah, we should probably get some. Because we might run out by the time we actually finish that factory. The factory can just wait. I mean, there's no huge rush to build it. We can always get it on the next rocket. Fuel is not a problem. Okay, so some machine parts. Let's say 20. Then drones. Let's say 10 drones. That's 68 million. Really not a lot. Alright, 12 drones and 20 machine parts. That's fine. Let's go for that. With the very high grade underground metals or rare metals, funding shouldn't be a huge issue. What's the status up here? Uh, we need some Sector machine parts. Scanned. Okay, well, let's go and bring some then. Off you go.
we'll just bring like five machine parts. So five machine parts. And five electronics. And let's get some concrete while we're at it. 15 concrete. In fact, 20 concrete. Okay, yep, that's good enough. And back we go. Yeah, we can drop a drone hub up here. Unload. We'll need another storage. Do we? Yeah, no, it's fine. Oh yeah, unload, not load. Why is he not unloading now? We certainly have space for concrete in here. So what's going on with that? Unload concrete. There, now he's reloading. Or unloading, I mean. Metals. That was a little bit weird. There we go, now it's fully unloaded. Anyway, I don't remember what I wanted next <laughs> at this point. A lot of things, I guess. We still need 200 colonies by day 100. That one is still going to be pretty tough. Any more anomalies in the area? Yes, plenty. How close are we to that? Arcology building. 62% done. So we are still like 3000 research away from that one. And a few more wind turbines. Oh yeah, right, wind turbines. That's what I wanted. We got 3.4 machine parts right now. Up here. So wind turbine. One required 0.8. One more. And we can remove some wind turbines on the low ground now. What's the difference in production? Let's see. 161 hourly production. Okay, and the ones on the low ground. There's no difference here. Are you guys sure they are supposed to be more efficient? Because their production is literally exactly the same. Now the future dome will be in the middle. Pipe oh, right here. 7.2. And this. 5.4. Not a huge difference, but I suppose it does make a difference then. Alright, fair enough. So let's trash some of them.
Maybe ones that are closest to requiring maintenance. Yeah, like this one. It's in the red already. We can trash that. Kataran, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate the support. And clear. There's more what text did we unlock? 3D machining, supportive community. Okay, what does that do? Supportive community. Lowers the risk of colonies developing flaws after sanity breakdown. Okay. And 3D machining. New building, machine parts factory. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Twenty percent done. So more anomalies. There are still quite a few to the west. Let's go check them out. No, it's connected. It had to be connected in order to, you know, actually have it work. Resources are low. Yeah, blow on machine parts. We should just get more machine parts from Earth at this point. Oh yeah, there they are. Just didn't land yet. So that's 20. And how many rare metals do we have? We got six. Okay. Cable fault reported. We've just found the wreckage. Anomaly analyzed. Two. The old probe even had some new data for us to analyze. Effect locations of several anomalies discovered. Oh, nice. Anomaly found. Up here, down here, well that's a little bit far away, but alright. Let's go reload the battery first. I'm waiting for archaeology research before we get more people. And then we can get started on a new dome. Are the apartments full yet? Yeah, they aren't even close to being full right now. We could grab some people from Earth. So, passenger rocket. Let's review. Some scientists, some engineers. Only one geologist available. Two geologists. A medic. Alright, let's grab these guys. Why new dome? Because I want to work the underground metals. And the metal extractor actually requires people, last I checked. Yeah, it requires workers, so we need a dome up here if we want to work this. What are we scanning right now? Uh, not a whole lot at the moment, apparently. 321% boost. Okay, that's a lot of boost. Let's scan some of these. So, more anomalies. Where's the closest one? Actually, I think this is the closest one right now. Can we get there safely? 
sector scanned. Yeah, should be fine. What's the deep red icon? This one? That's also metals, but it's a deep deposit. So right now, we don't have the technology to exploit that one. This one is just a regular deposit. So we can work this once we get a dome. Cable fault reported. The rocket is already refueled. I'm just going to wait for full exports. Because we have almost no money left. We have pretty much no money right now, so... <laughs> oh, really? He malfunctioned. Well, that's fine. We'll send the rover. Although... I think this is a good moment to place the drone depot. Since we still have one more prefab that I've been sitting on for a while. Basically since the start of this game. So, somewhere in the middle. The dome is going to be... hold on. Yeah, the dome is going to be, like, roughly over here. Something like this, anyway. So, the drone hub... Oh, we got more concrete down here. So let's have that in range. Let's say like this. That seems fine. Okay, right here. Let's wait for that to finish and then we'll send the rover. Let's go. We did cover it. It's just that the rover has a much smaller range. Because it's mobile. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Oh nice, another anomaly right here. So now we can repair this. And go finish the scanning. And back we go. Rocket is here. Let's land. And we should probably take off. 25 out of 30, that's good enough. Let's take off. Off you go. Make some space for the next one. Go, go, go. Is it launching? <laughs> Just wait for it to launch, since I want to land there. The analysis tells us that we found Tech boost. Ten percent to all physics technologies. That's a real rarity. On okay, Earth. yeah, that's nice. And back we go. Look at all this dust it's covered with. <laughs> we'll check this one on the way. So, can we land yet? He's taking his sweet time to take off. Like, what is he actually waiting for? There we go, off you go. Bye bye. Make some space. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. It's still technically blocked because he didn't finish taking off. <laughs> Anomaly analyzed. Wait, what? Oh, another one found. Okay, fair enough. He's still analyzing. 
Can we land yet? There. Not blocked anymore. Alright, land. That's 12 more colonies. Anomaly analyzed. New techs are viable There's for research. That's a lot of techs. Emergency training, microgravity a medicine, treasure trove rover command AI, sterling generator. Nice. We so need sterling no generators. And waste rock liquefaction. Nice. So we got at least two super useful techs revealed with this. Okay. Where are they exactly? Holy crap, this one is expensive. 10,000! Drones can extract concrete from waste rock. Right, but that's 10,000 to research that. We won't be researching it anytime soon. The RC rover no longer needs recharging. Starts with four additional drones and the command limit increased by 12. Okay. Emergency training. There's the ceiling generator. Let's queue it up right away. I'll remove the other two. That's under 2,000 cost, so pretty cheap. New Spire building, medical center. Has larger capacity and is more effective than the infirmary. And I think that's all we revealed right now. These tanks are getting pretty expensive. 10,000 and we still have like 6 more. How many tech options in each tree? Let's see, that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 in each tree from the looks of it. Alright. So there's the rocket. That's 12 additional colonists. We should have enough housing for them. Let's see. Actually, I think we'll need more. No, we still have plenty. We can fit like 20, 30 more. Have arrived. Okay, sectors. Let's see. Can you just keep scanning the same sector indefinitely? Oh no, deep scanned, deep scanned. Right, it says when it's been deep scanned. I suppose we can deep scan our home sector. But we don't have the tech to take advantage of any deep deposits. So, like, that's pretty pointless, even if we find something. So that's 25. We still need so many more. Because for those of you who might not have seen, I have a mission from Earth, or whatever you want to call it, to get 2,000 colonies before Sol 100. So, yeah. We are still waiting for archaeology. It's 88% done. <laughs> like, finish that already, come on. Pipe leak reported. There's the explorer. Let's go and reload. So wait, how do I remove this extra cable? Because this actually is going to get in the way. Build menu. Is there like a separate salvage option? Where the heck is it? Because I want to remove this cable. How on earth do I do that? But I can't. I, I can't click on the cable to reclaim it. Like, the cable is not clickable. Oh, this one. Is that it? There we go. There, it's removed. Good. How's our resource situation? We have 400 concrete, holy crap. We do have a small water shortage, actually. Okay. How do we have a water shortage? That shouldn't be a problem. Well, apparently we don't. So, wait a minute. The closest water is, like, all the way over there.
we could change some of our food production around. That's probably a good idea. What requires less water? Potatoes don't require any water, apparently. But yeah, they degrade soil quality. 0 0.8. I suppose we can always turn off the fuel refinery, because that uses water. How much fuel do we have stored right now? 47. I don't actually have the tech for whatever it's called. Moisture evaporator. <laughs> we'll just have to get a prefab. Well, if that's what we have to do, that's what we'll do. Right, I'm aware how moisture evaporator works. I just literally can't build one. Because I don't have the tech. It's not even available to research. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Oh, we found some anomalies. Okay, more iron locks. Where's that explorer? Right here. All right, let's send it. <laughs> I hope these colonists like potatoes. Well, they will have to get used to them. Seventy-five population. How's our dome doing? 96% on the archaeology. Funding received. There, we got almost 100 million in funding. It is a spire building. Let's see. 8 out of 24. Yeah, we still have a lot more space for more colonists. Anomaly analyzed. New techs are available. To the Baron and General Baron training, to the March Planet. Nouveau. Okay. 10,000 cost. Building construction costs in metal and concrete reduced by 20%, excluding domes. Okay. Where's the other one? Was that general training? No, I don't think so. Wait, which deck was it? I can't see it anymore. <laughs> no, it was general training, right? Yeah, it was general training. Colonies without proper specialization suffer a lower work penalty. Oh, that's not too bad. But yeah, next will be Sterling Generator for sure.